one of my absolute favorite things to do as a divorce attorney is to give my perspective on things that I see that implicates divorce cases on TV shows and different series. So watch this clip and I'll give you some of my advice on what I see shortly after. So in that scene, you see how Number one, backstory that you don't know is that she recently had found out her husband was cheating, so she decided to get some air, go check into a hotel. And when she was checking in, she thought about it, and she was like, oh, try this credit card when she was giving the concierge her credit card. Gave them her husband's credit card that she obviously had access to still because they were married, um, and decided to use that on the executive suite of the hotel, probably the most, not probably, the expensive, most expensive room in the hotel. And then she proceeds to on a shopping spree and she buys all of this jewelry and all of these different things bags clothes etc um and i want to talk about something that is not heavily talked about in the divorce world and that is the opportunity for one of the parties to engage in what is called dissipation of marital assets so by definition anything purchased during the marriage is a marital asset. And if it's marital, if it's in a marital asset and it's marital property, then it has the opportunity to be what we call dissipated. Now, real property and tangible property can be dissipated over the life of the marriage and more importantly, during the ongoing or potentially ongoing uh, divorce proceedings or separation. And this becomes most relevant when one party is doing exactly what she's doing in that video. She's taking assets and funds that the parties have either in their individual capacity or together as husband and wife um, titled, but it doesn't matter how it's titled anyways, but she's using those for frivolous things, buying jewelry, getting the most expensive hotel room. Now, I think a court would side with her that she was in her own right to get a hotel room. However, going to and getting the most luxurious suite and buying jewelry, all of those things, especially when there's children involved, um, becomes a red flag for the court. And they are not happy with that top type of engagement going on by either party. I've seen it on both sides, but in most cases, it is exactly how it has it depicted here. Wife that decides to do some things like that, like buying some things. But I have seen it in a very not so common um, world, but some common to others, um, where husband will actually use marital funds and what he seems to believe is his own funds to take his mistresses on trips and going out of the country and buying them luxurious bags and jewelry and things like that and a divorce attorney like myself through a very um, lengthy process called discovery finds out looks at those bank statements sees those transactions and asks my client hey did he buy this for you or did he buy this for someone else and we see the consistency we start seeing names start putting dates together and we realize that all of the things he purchased were for his mistress either way that it comes out and plays out it is called dissipation and we have to be cognizant of it in a divorce proceeding because you cannot um, reduce the substantially reduce in some cases the assets that are in the marital estate because the court will hold that against you and it will affect any outcomes financial outcomes that you have in your case so the court could say that you dissipated assets and you have to put them back they could say that you dissipated assets and it's going to count against you in the award the monetary award that the parties are going to receive as a result of the property for example um, so there's a lot of ways that it can come into effect, but I did want to show you this clip and give you a real life experience of it. If you're in need of legal services in the state of Maryland or in the District of Columbia, please give my office a call 240-493-9116 and www.amurphylegal.com. Thank you.